Good morning, everyone. This is day two of Drumming on the Deck. Um, my name is Rick Lohr, and most of you probably saw the video yesterday. I hope you've been practicing so you know what the A section sounds like. We're going to review it shortly. Um, remember, you need sticks and a bucket or some sticks and something to hit. Um, a bucket works well because we're going to be using the rim and the top, but if you have a box or something else to hit, that's fine. Um, if you forgot what you need, you might want to go and get it right now, okay? So yesterday we learned the A section, and the A section um, used the rim and the inside of the drum, and we learned the rhythm. Today we're going to start out by a game, and this game is called the Poison Rhythm Game. And the poison rhythm game is I have a rhythm in mind and I'm going to tell you what it is. And this rhythm is poison, which means every time you hear me play it, you do not want to play it back. You just want to stop and don't play. Okay. If I could hear you, what we would do is if you played that rhythm, I get a point. If you don't play the rhythm, you get the point and whoever gets to five first wins. But it's a good listening game. So even though I can't hear you, um, try your best not to play on that poison rhythm. The poison rhythm today is probably one you are familiar with. And the poison rhythm goes like this. So if you hear that, don't play back. You just sit. If you heard this, you would play back. If you heard me do this, you would play back. But if you hear this, don't play back. Okay? You just sit. Okay? One more time. Poison rhythm. Now, because you're so smart, if I do that poison rhythm here, you also can't play it. If I do it here, I don't want you to play it. So it's not just using the center of the drum, it's whatever I decide to use, you don't want to play, okay? So, I want you to echo back everything else. Here we go. Did you play that? I hope not. That was the poison one. It was ta, ti, ti, ta, ta. Okay, if you didn't, good job. If you did, listen again. Make sure you try not to play. Here we go. Did you play back? That was the poison rhythm. Okay, so I've done it two times. Here we go. Did you fall for my trick? Because that was the poison rhythm again. A lot of times when it's the first one you hear, you don't remember that that's the poison one. Okay, one more chance. Here we go. Uh-oh, that was the poison rhythm. So that was ta, ti, ti, ta, ta. I hope you got lots of points. If you think about it, every time you didn't clap, 
or didn't play, you got a point. So that would be four if you did it all right. So that was a good way to warm up our ears and our mind. So the first thing we're gonna do is review the A section and I hope you have it down pretty well, okay? So we're gonna review it, just short sections, and then we're gonna add the new section which is called the B section. So the A section, one stick on the top, one stick on the edge, and if you remember the rhythm was ta, ti, ti, ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, ta, ti, 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 and then we started over because we did it two times even though that's one A section. Slowly we did center, edge, center, center, edge. So it went like this. So let's try that slowly. Let's just do it a few times. Don't worry about doing it three times, even though that's what we're supposed to do. So let's try it slowly. Here we go. Start with your center hand. One, two, slowly go. So we did it more than three times because we were practicing, but in our A section we do it three times. And then we add at the end the eight, where you hit it eight times alternating your hands in the center. And I told you yesterday that you could practice adding some dynamics or volume to that where we crescendo, we get softer and then we get a little louder. So it adds a little interest. Okay. So if you practice that, you can try to add that. I think everyone can probably do that. Let's try doing our three um, parts where it's ta, ti, ti, ta, ta, three times, and then we'll add the ending, and we're gonna do it two times, the whole thing two times. I'll try to keep track, okay? And you keep track as well. Here we go. So my first stick is here in the center. My other one is on the edge. Here we go. One, two, together, go. Second time, third time, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Third time, eight. Okay, good. Let's try it one more time and then we're gonna add the B section or the section that comes after. One, two, ready, go. So that's the A section, okay? So the B section is also using the bucket and your sticks. However, it's gonna be a little different. So we're gonna put our sticks down for now and we're gonna try it with just body percussion, patting and clapping, okay? Because I think that's easier for this. So it starts out by doing four pats, okay? And they're all quarter notes or tas so it's a little slower, it's not really fast. So we do four of those and we do it hands together. So you go one, two, three, four. So four of those, four hands together. Let's try it again. One, two, three, four. Now we're gonna be doing T, 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 ta, or one and two and three and four. This one, you're gonna alternate between padding and clapping. Now there's a couple ways you can think of this. One of the ways is counting by numbers. So you can think that there's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you're gonna alternate padding and clapping. I'll show you what I mean. So it'd go one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more time, you can join me. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven. Now if we add it to the first four where we just padded, it would look like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's try it again. Four plus seven. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now the next part is almost exactly the same. You start over. One, two, three, four. But instead of doing seven, we only do five. We're going to add a little rest at the end. So we only do five. One, two, three, four, five. So instead of seven, it's five. Let's try the five together. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. So the way I think of it is four, seven, four, five. It's a little tricky when you have a rest at the end just because you're used to the seven before that. So if you think four, seven, four, five, I think that helps. Let's try to do the whole B section together. If you want to watch the first time, that's fine. Okay, so it's four, seven, four, five. Here we go. One, two, start with padding, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. Now you're going to do it two times in a row. So let's just do it one time for practice and then we'll try it two times. Okay? So let's join together. Four, seven, four, five. Here we go. One, two, together, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's do it two times in a row. Now there's a rest, but we're not going to say a rest. It just gives us a little bit of time to get back to the beginning. So at the end, when you think one, two, three, four, five, sometimes you'll see me go one, two, three, four, five, and I'll take a breath. Even though we're playing a drum, sometimes that breath helps us take up time so we don't start the B section again too early. So let's try it two times, okay? B section two times. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Start over. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So that's the B section. Now, we're not going to use body percussion. We're going to use our sticks and bucket or whatever you have. So to keep this simple, every time you padded your legs is going to be the rim of the drum. Every time we clapped our hands, it's going to be clicking our sticks. So at the beginning, let's start with the easy part. The padding you did four times. You're going to do rim four times, and you're going to do hands together. So it's like this. The next part you did pat, clap, pat, clap, pat, clap, pat, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're going to do that with your bucket, and you're going to go one, two, three, Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, when you do it, you need to make sure you're not up really high. You don't want to go, that's too high. Keep it close because we're going to go faster. So let's try the first four and then that seven section. So four and seven. Let's go. Here we go. Rim first. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? The next one is the same except it's four and five. So instead of going to seven, you go to five. Here we go. Four plus five. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. 
one, two, three, four, five. So four, seven, four, five, let's try it. Rim starts, ready, go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now let's do it two times in a row because that's what the B section is. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Start over. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? So that's the B section. That's our new section. Now that section though has to be combined with the A section. So we reviewed the A section and the goal today is to add the B section to that. So what we do is we play the A section all the way through and then we go straight into the B section. We call this A, B. So remember the A section, one stick here, one stick here. There's no pause in between the sections. Okay, so when we get to the A section the second time and we do the eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you go to, straight to the B section. Okay, let's try it together. It's our first time, so if you mess up, it's okay. Just watch again. We'll do it again. Here we go. If I mess up, it's okay too. Here we go. One, two, A section, go. section again. Get ready for the B section. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five. Again, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. So that's A, B, okay? So practice that going from A section to B section. You can watch the video again, go to the part where you may need to review. It's probably gonna be on the B section and sometimes it's going from the old section to the new section. That's the little tricky part. Next time we're gonna be working on going A, B, a, and we're going to add one more section. That's the C section. So again, practice A, practice B, go slow if you need to, and watch the video again if necessary. Um, I hope you enjoyed today, and I will see you back tomorrow.